Welcome to Roots Online Abacus Classes. In this lesson, first we will cover finger movements, placement of Abacus, setting 0, and then we will learn addition and subtraction. We will not be covering a detailed explanation regarding place values of numbers as this will get covered gradually as modules move forward. Please watch the video as many times as required before attempting any exercise. Let us now cover topics one by one. On Abacus, all calculations are performed by movements of beads and this is done with the use of index finger and the thumb of right hand. Hence, the index finger and the thumb both should be kept in ready position. Rest three fingers should comfortably touch the inner palm. Left handers use the left hand in the same way. Placement of Abacus While performing calculations, never keep Abacus and smartphone in your hand. Always place them on the table. Smartphone and tab should be kept just above the abacus. Any device can be used like smartphone, laptop, desktop or a tab. However, children mostly prefer to use smartphone or a tab as they are handy and can be used anywhere. Setting abacus to zero. Before doing any calculations, we need to ensure that abacus is set to zero. It means that no bead should touch the bar. Here we see an abacus with few beads touching the bar. To set it to zero, make it stand vertically so that all the lower beads slides away from the bar. Now to slide away upper beads, use nail of index finger. No bead is touching the bar now. Let us now learn how to do additions and subtractions. On the backers, addition and subtractions are done by moving beads. To add lower beads, we use thumb and to subtract lower beads, we use index finger. For kids who have not yet started learning addition and subtraction in school, clarify to them that plus sign indicates moving the beads towards the bar and minus sign indicates moving the beads away from the bar. Let's understand this with few examples. Solve 1 plus 2 on a backus. Start the calculation from 1's column. The first number is always added. Here we have two numbers. Start with the first number which is 1 here. For this we need 1 bead. So we move one bead towards the bar. Now we add second number which is two here. For this we need two beads. So move two beads towards the bar. Now the number shown by the back as is three. So the answer is three. Let's take the next example. Two plus two. Start with adding first number which is two. For this we need two beads. So move two beads towards the bar. Now we add second number which is two again. For this we need two beads. So move two beads towards the bar. Now the number shown by the back as is four. So the answer is four. Let's take another example. Four minus two. Start with adding first number which is 4. For this we need 4 beads. Move 4 beads towards the bar. Now we need to subtract second number which is 2. For this we need 2 beads. So move 2 beads away from the bar. Now the number shown by the back as is 2. So the answer is 2. Let's take Next example, 4 minus 2 minus 1 plus 2. We will start again with the first number which is 4 here. For this we need 4 beads. So move 4 beads towards the bar. Now we have to subtract second number which is 2 here. For this we need 2 beads. Move 2 beads towards the bar, away from the bar, sorry. Now we need 
to subtract third number which is 1 for this we need one bead so move one bead away from the bar now we add fourth number which is 2 for this we need two beads so move two beads towards the bar now the number shown by the abacus is 3 so the answer is 3 let's revise important points once again now what does the movement of lower beads towards the bar indicate subtraction or addition right it is addition what does the movement of lower beads away from the bar indicate subtraction or addition right it is subtraction what do we use to move lower bead towards the bar index finger or thumb right it is thumb what do we use to move lower beads away from the bar index finger or thumb right it is index finger tips for the trainer correct movement of fingers is very important for becoming expert in the backers during the initial days you must monitor child's finger movements training of finger movements can be given in following ways one minus one two minus two three minus three four minus four 